Welcome my dear students to the course of digital electronics. Before entering to the subject, let us see that how this digital electronics has changed our day to day life. Nowadays, mobile phones which are inevitable are the applications of digital electronics. The digital cameras, the household appliances like AC, fridges, washing machine and microwave ovens, they are the applications of digital electronics. If you see, the in AC and in, uh, in fridges, we will be using digital electronics for automatic temperature control, maintains the temperature in some particular range. We can see the we can say the n number of applications of digital electronics. There are the applications of digital electronics as as influenced in, in all the fields. In earlier days, we used to use analog electronics, which has a lot of disadvantage, especially the speed, the speed of operations. For example, if you if you take an example of a radio, which is used by our grandfathers, they are in analog in nature, which which is made up of vacuum tubes. If he wants to listen a, a any news from a radio, he has to switch on the radio ten minutes before the scheduled time. For example, if the time is at 8 o'clock, he, he has to switch on at 7.50 itself. The vacuum tube has to be get heated and then it will be, it will be start working. If he exactly starts at the uh, scheduled time, he may miss some portion of the news, uh, the program. Maybe he may miss the complete program also. So, but after the invention of the transistor in 1940s, what happened? The delay has been reduced. The speed of operation has been increased. And we had made a uh, radio and we, it has named as a transistor itself. That is the reason that the radio has got the name as transistor. And this discrete transistor has been nowadays replaced by the integrated circuits. This integrated circuits can operate in a fraction of seconds. If you switch on the uh, any radio station nowadays, you you, you can receive the sig signal immediately. It has not only changed the 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 media, the broadcasting stations, audio and uh, radio and video stations, communication. It has so it has also changed the way of automobile industries. How it has changed the automobile industries? In the, in the previous days, we will be using the olden days motorcycles. In the olden days motorcycle, we will be using uh, analog speedometers. Nowadays, the analog speedometers in the modern day bike, the analog speedometers are completely replaced by a digital speedometer, which shows some kilometers per hour, 50 kilometers per hour, 60 kilometers per hour. Not only in automobile industry, it has it has changed the way in uh, in medical electronics also in medical field. Digital electronics are used in making the digital digital diagnostic systems. It is used in scanning machine, ECG, EEG machines, so that the doctor can easily identify the disease of a patient and it will be useful for him to give the treatment. It is used in agriculture field. Earlier days, when he wants to switch on the motor pumps in his field, he has to, he has to go, go, go from his home to the field and he has to switch on it. Nowadays, after the invention of digital electronics, he can switch on his, his motor pump from his home through the mobile. The microcontrollers which are used in the pump set, it, it automatically switch on. The same way that the, the ACs you can switch on from, from your remote area. So these are the applications of 
uh, digital electronics. The digital electronics is used in high range from satellites to the weighing machine which is used in the vegetable shop or in the provisional shop to weigh a uh, one kg of brinjal or potato or tomato. It has replaced the, the analog balance scale by the digital balance scale. We can say the n number of applications in, uh, uh, in, in this uh, by, by using uh, digital electronics. It is used in the car for control applications. So it, it depends upon the designer how it uses, how to use the, the digital electronics. The main aim of this course is to make a simple person to understand the uses of digital electronics. I am going to relate the every each and every topic to the practical applications which are which is known to us. This course will be useful for the uh, secondary EC students, triple E students, computer science, IT, medical electronics, electronics and instrumentation students as well as for the students who are preparing for the gate and public sector examinations like HAL, DRDO, BHEL, etc. oil companies. So let us enter into the topic. The first topic we are going to st study is the logic gates. This logic gates you might have studied in your higher secondary school itself. It is very simple. You might have studied only the, the logic symbol and the, the, the truth table of the logic gates. But here we are going to implement the logic gates to our applications. The same way the, how the bricks are important to construct uh, any, uh, any building, any construction, the logic gates are the building block of, of, our, of our digital systems. If you take any digital equipments like mobile phones, laptops or uh, any, anything, it has logic gates. Any, any, any electronic, digital electronics, it has logic gates. In earlier days, we used to record the analog signals, audio and video analog signals by magnetic tapes. By magnetic tapes, they, are, they used to record it. Nowadays, it is recorded, it is, it is stored in the pen drive. Now, the, the uh, magnetic tapes has become a history using only pen drives, which is, pen drives is a memory, which is made up of flip-flops. And the flip-flops are made up of a combination of logic gates. So let us see the logic gates in detail. The logic gates are basically classified into three types. The basic logic gates, and next one is universal gate, and the next one is special gates. The logic gates are classified as basic logic gates, universal logic gates and special logic gates. What are the gates? What are the gates belongs to basic type? The first gate is AND gate. And the next one is OR gate and the next one is NOT gate. The universal category, the first type is NAND gate, the next type is NOR gate. In the special category, the first type is XOR gate and the next type is XNOR gate. You can write as XOR also, EXNOR. EX represents it is exclusive. EX represents the exclusive. Now we can see the, the symbolic diagram symbol logical symbol of a AND gate. This is a logic symbol of the AND gate. Let A and B are the input and Y is the output. It is not necessary that A and B should be the input and Y should be the output. You can name any alphabets. The symbol of OR gate. And this is symbol of OR gate and this is bubble. 
the next one is NAND gate and get followed by a, a bubble or get followed by a, a bubble the same way the XOR gate this is symbol for XOR gate the symbol for XNOR gate in NAND gate what happens you have an AND gate followed by a, a NOT gate here OR gate followed by a NOT gate means it inverts it is an inversion of AND gate since it has got the symbol from the basic gates it is also called as derived gates the special gates also here we, we get the symbol from OR gate and here also we, symbol, we get the symbol from the NOR gate it is also called as the derived gates let n be the, the number of input n can be greater than or equal to 2 it is not necessary that you should have only 2 inputs it can be 3 4 so on the same way n can be greater than or equal to 2 but in inverter n is strictly equal to 1 the same way the, here the n is greater than or equal to 2 and here the n is greater than or equal to 2 the same way only in not get you have a single input and a single output if you have a if you if the input is a the output will be a bar it inverts it inverts it, it since it inverts we can say this as inverters it inverts the input it has lot of applications in the forthcoming uh, uh, classes in the videos i'll be explaining what are the applications of all the gates individually why we call this as universal gates NAND gates are and NOR gates are called as universal gates for example i want to design a NOT gate or a OR gate i don't have NOT and OR gate i do, i don't have uh, OR gate also i can easily convert this this NAND gate and NOR gate to any one of the basic gates or any one of the the special gates i can convert i can pick the nand gate and con convert to any gates i can implement any boolean functions that is the name we call this as the universal gates and the next one is special gates as the name specify it is also special in terms of mobile communication in digital communication in analog communication if you see the the received signals are in terms of analog it will be easily affected by the noise when it's traveling from one place to another place it will be easy, easily affected by the noise by by the thunder by the lightning during the uh, during the uh, rainy season you can observe the world and day radios it gives some noises when there is a thunder or when there is a lightning since nowadays in digital communication in digital electronics the in the signals are only in terms of zeros and ones the zeros and ones if there is any change in zeros and one you can easily identify and detect the error you can easily identify and detect the error with the help of this xor gates so the xor gates plays a very main important role in communication in digital communication mobile communication particularly without this xor gates the mobile communication is impossible we will be using a lot of error signals so this is about the the classification of logic gates and the the logic symbols in the next class i am going to teach how this this or gate and this nor gate how it is used used in the car for is used in the car for uh, for a safety purposes if you feel the video is useful subscribe the channel click on the bell button and the like button for getting the latest updates thank you